we did have a family member who was battling an illness and we were trying to think of a way that we could honor her because we knew it was terminal. So we thought, well, we could do this or that, the other thing. And then when the Gadsden Initiative opportunity came to us, it seemed like a no-brainer where we could give back to causes that were important to her. Health was definitely one of the first things we thought about was uh, of, uh, of an area to contribute to. To uh, learn from professionals and um, be surrounded by other like-minded people who also are just keen to learn and want to leave a legacy when they're gone. And so, um, you know, there's nothing more important, I think, than being able to give back and being able to leave something behind that will help others when we're not here. Well, I think that a lot of people don't really understand what philanthropy really is or what it really means and that it doesn't necessarily always need to be cash being handed over. It could be about giving your time, about sharing a skill or a talent or, yeah, time is a big, big gift. That uh, there's many ways to be able to, to give back to your community. So I think that, you know, the barriers can sometimes be uh, yourself getting in the way of uh, your ability to, uh, to to help other people out and to, and to give back to your community. The Gadsden Initiative just sort of opened this door to allowing us this opportunity that we never would have imagined. You can slowly work towards your goal of having philanthropic pursuits as well as your everyday life.